Listen to this story about Tommy. Tommy was six years old. Is anyone here six years old? Raise your hand. Okay, most of the first graders, right? Oh, some of kinder, great. So one summer day, okay, put their hands down. One summer day, Tommy was in his room reading. And while he was reading, he heard the noise of children playing outside. So he went to his bedroom window and looked outside, and there were like five kids playing soccer with a ball, just kicking the ball around. So Thomas thought, well, you know, I want to play with them. So he went and asked his mom if he can go out and play with the children playing with the ball. She said yes. So he went out and asked the children, say, can I play with you? And there's one child who didn't like Tommy because they both were very competitive in sports. And he told them, no, you can't play with us. So how do you think that made Tommy feel? Let's see, we have a hand. Yes. Come closer so we can hear your answer. Sad. Okay, he was sad. Any other feelings do you think Tommy might have? Upset. He was upset? Um, he could be angry. Okay, he could be angry. Anything else? He, he could feel like um, he... Um, Alone. Okay, he was alone. See, he felt all these things. He was sad, he was upset, he got angry, and he felt alone. So he went back and sat on the steps in front of his porch, just watching the kids play. Well, while they were playing, one of the kids hit the ball real hard that it flew over the fence into the backyard of Tommy's house. And now what do you think happened? He got it for them. Okay. Before, okay. Before we get to what point what Tommy did, what do you think the kids wanted Tommy to do? I think they wanted him to like get the ball for them. Very good. So they wanted him to get the ball. So one of them went to Tommy and said, "Well, Tommy, can you get us the ball from your backyard?" Now the big question: What did you think Tommy did? Let's get some of the answers back here. He got the ball for them. He said, she said he got the ball for them. How many of you think Tommy would have done this? Raise your hands. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. What's the other option? Anybody from this class? If Tommy could have gotten the ball, right? But what else he could have done? He could have said no, right? Because remember, he was upset, he was angry because they wouldn't play, let him play with them. Now, what do you think is the right thing for Tommy to do? Get the ball. Get the ball for them. Why? Because you shouldn't be mean back to them. Okay, because he shouldn't be mean back to him, although they were mean to him, right? Do you agree that he shouldn't be mean to them? Raise your hands. Let's see how many agree that Tommy shouldn't be mean. Okay, very good. Because that's what Jesus uh, teaches us. Even sometimes when others are mean to us, we shouldn't respond by being mean to them. Because what happens if he said, no, I'm not going to get you the ball? Would that make anybody happy? Right. Would Tommy felt better? No. No, because he's still not playing with the kids, and now they're not playing. Now they're all angry, and they might get into fight, right? So that's why Jesus tells us we should always be kind to others, even when they're mean to us. Now, what do you think might happen if Tommy said, okay, he went and got him the ball? He felt happy. Okay, he would feel better, but what do you think the kids would do? They might let him yeah. play with them. Exactly. They might let him play with them, and now they're all happy. So even when people are mean to us, if we be our kind to them, there might be a happy ending while everybody ends up being happy. And that's what, what happened in the gospel today with Jesus. 
Jesus was going to a city called Jerusalem, and as he was going, he sent his disciples to the next town to remind them to tell him Jesus is coming so that people can gather and listen to Jesus. But they went into this town, and they didn't want Jesus to come into their town. And James and John, the friends of Jesus, told Jesus, well, let us pray to God that he will punish them. And Jesus said, no, you shouldn't do that. And then they moved on to the next town. So we're always called, even when people are not nice to us or mean to us, we always should be kind because that might be the best for everyone in the end. As I said today, we celebrate the Feast of St. Vincent de Paul. He was a priest who lived in France about 500 years ago. And he was hired by a rich family to come to their home to say mass for them and to teach their children. And one day, one of the farmers who worked for that family got sick and the priest of the village was not around to go and to bless him because he was going to die. So they asked St. Vincent de Paul if he would go and he went. And he went into this farmer's house, was a very poor you know, farmer and his family were poor. He was shocked that how much that they didn't have many things at their house. They didn't even have enough food. But also he was shocked because they didn't know their prayers. The kids could not read or write. So that made him change his heart and decide that he wants to help the poor more, especially teaching the children reading, writing, and their prayers. St. Vincent de Paul ended up having many other men follow him, and they became, became a community, and they dedicated their life to teaching the poor, but also to teaching priests. That college I went to to become a priest for many years was run by members of St. Vincent de Paul community. We call them Vincentians. Also, some women wanted to do what the priest St. Vincent de Paul was doing, so they formed their own order for nuns, and they began working with the poor and teaching, you know, children and adults. And also, some people who didn't want to become priests or nuns wanted also to help the poor. And that's what we have him even today, 500 years date later, and we call him the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. And we have one here at Holy Family, and we have many of them throughout the world that go out to help the poor. So part of sometimes us being kind to others is to reach out to those who have needs and try to help them, right? And you guys would do that, right? Very good.